हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर नरेश कुमार एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनोटिकल इंजीनियरिंग डुंडीगल हैदराबाद टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ ग्रीन थ्योरम इन द प्ले बेसिकली ग्रीन थ्योरम आर यूज्ड इन प्ले एंड एनी प्लेन इज टू डायमेंशन प्ले एक्स वाई प्लेन और एक्स जेड प्लेन और वाई जेड प्लेन प्लेन ऑलवेज बी टू डायमेंशन सो रिलेशन बिटवीन लाइन एंड एरिया इंटीग्रल हियर वी वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस बिटवीन द लाइन इंटीग्रल एंड एरिया इंटीग्रल हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट एनी लाइन इंटीग्रल इन एरिया इंटीग्रल सो आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस डिटेल About Green theorem in this lecture. Basic concept of Green theorem in the plane relation between line and surface integral, or we can say area integral. Definition of basic concept of Green theorem in the plane. If S is an open surface bounded by a closed curve C, and any point, any point. Vector point function is given in the plane that is two dimension. F equal to m i unit vector plus n j vector means this point function is given in only x y plane because there is only two vectors are working here vector i unit vector and j unit vector. i along the x axis and j along the y axis so this vector point function lie on in x y plane is any vector point function having continuous first order derivative partial derivatives then vector a j then f vector is two dimensional vector wide function in x y plane and n cap n cap is a unit normal vector which is perpendicular to the x y plane means the direction of unit vector along the z axis what along the z axis there is k unit vector is working so n unit vector is equal to k unit vector here we can define like this this is x axis and this is y axis this is z axis and this is any x y axis this is known as a x y plane x y plane and any vector perpendicular to this plane like this this is perpendicular to x y and this is parallel to z so this is the unit normal vector n and this is the unit normal vector k so we can say unit normal vector n and unit normal vector k both are same the direction of both vector have same so we can say n cap equal to k cap okay n cap always be n cap always equal to k cap n vector n unit vector is the perpendicular to the xy plane and xy plane perpendicular to the xy plane is z axis but along the z axis is k vector working there so n unit vector and k unit vector both have same direction both are parallel n vector unit vector and k unit vector both are parallel it means we can say that n unit vector equal to k unit vector so the green theorem this is this is known as a stock theorem here a stock theorem basically green theorem is the modify of stock theorem in stock theorem vector point function is three dimensional vector point function other is no change in the formula between green and stock both formula are same only some difference is there 
इन स्टॉक थ्रीम वी हैव टेकन थ्री डायमेंशनल वेक्टर पॉइंट फंक्शन इन एफ वेक्टर देर आर थ्री यूनिट वेक्टर आई वेक्टर जे वेक्टर एंड के वेक्टर बट नाउ इन ग्रीन थ्यूरियम देर इज टू डायमेंशनल वैक्टर पॉइंट फंक्शन इन एक्स वाई प्लेन सो हेयर दिस इज द स्टॉक थ्योरियम फार्मूला ऑफ स्टॉक थ्योरियम इज हेयर इंटीग्रेशन सी सी इज एनी क्लोज कर एफ वैक्टर एंड डी आर इक्वल टू डबल इंटीग्रेशन अंडर द सर्फेस एस कर्ल एफ डॉट एन कैप डी एस दिस इज द फार्मूला ऑफ स्टॉक थ्योरम दिस स्टॉक थ्योरम कन्वर्ट इन टू ग्रीन थ्योरम हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट इन ग्रीन थ्योरम इन स्टॉक थ्योरम एफ वैक्टर इज थ्री डायमेंशनल वैक्टर पॉइंट फंक्शन बट इन ग्रीन थ्योरम एफ वैक्टर इज टू डायमेंशनल वैक्टर पॉइंट फंक्शन टू डायमेंशनल वैक्टर फंक्शन so above formula perpendicular to the given surface so above formula is given in vector form above formula is given in vector form and is unit normal vector perpendicular to the given surface okay i have already told you in stock theorem f is vector that is three dimensional vector point function But in Green theorem, f vector is two-dimensional vector point function. If we are taking two-dimensional vector point function, then that formula convert in Green theorem. If we have taken f is three-dimensional vector point function, then formula is known as a stock theorem. Only this elementary changing in the question. Okay. In Stokes theorem, the n unit normal vector, direction of the n unit normal vector is cos alpha i cap plus cos beta j cap plus cos gamma k cap. But in this Green theorem, the direction of the unit normal vector n, which is perpendicular to x y plane, that is parallel to z axis. Parallel to z axis means parallel to k vector. So n vector. n vector unit normal vector equal to k unit normal vector this is main concept change in stock theorem and in green theorem what is difference between stock theorem and green theorem here we we want to discuss about the difference in stock theorem f is three dimensional vector point function if f is three dimensional vector point function then the direction of the unit normal vector n which is perpendicular to the surface that is cos alpha i cap plus cos beta j cap plus cos gamma k cap and the value of f vector is f1 i cap plus f2 j cap plus f3 k cap then we apply these two values in the given formula then that formula is known as a stock theorem but in green theorem f is two dimensional vector point function that is lie on x y plane so the unit normal vector vector which is which is perpendicular to x y plane that is represented by n cap that is parallel to z axis parallel to z axis there is k cap along the z axis so n vector unit normal vector n and k vector both are parallel so we can say that n cap equal to k cap n equal to k cap so here integral c f dot dr double integration under surface as curl f dot n ds this is equation 1 convert equation 1 from vector form to scalar form in green theorem we apply here green formula not stock formula so here f vector point function value of f vector point function is m i cap n plus n j cap here f vector is given m m is some function of x and y m i cap plus n j cap n is also some function of x y 
here m is the value of some function of x y and n is also some function of x y what we have already told you n cap equal to k cap because n cap is parallel to k cap so both both vector have same value this equation 3 this equation 2 and this formula 1 formula 1 convert in scalar form what here formula 1 is given in vector form so how we can change in vector to scalar form after putting value of vector at point function and dr dr vector and n vector and curl f vector then this formula convert in scalar form so here r vector r is the position vector in any in any point on the space so r is position vector r x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap this is the value of at any point in three dimensional geometry this is the position of a point and dr dr vector equal to dx i plus dy j plus dz k cap so now we have find here f vector into dr vector f dot dr dot product between f vector and dr dot dr vector so value of f is m i cap plus n j cap and next bracket is dot product dx i n plus d y j n plus d z k cap taking dot product so here taking dot product f dot dr vector this equal to taking dot product between same vector i to i j to j k to k so here m dx plus n dy there is no k vector in f is no k vector only two vectors are there i and j there is no component working along the z axis so there is zero component zero component along the z axis because there is only two dimensional x and y not third dimensional so this k is zero so here plus zero k so this is only f dot dr f vector dot dr vector equal to m dx plus n dy this is left side of the formula of the green theorem but in right side first we find curl f vector curl f vector writing here finding curl f curl f means this is del cross f vector this is product function curl f del del cross f del cross f always find with the help of determinate so first half writing i j k three vectors writing here and del value of del is do over do x do over do y do over do z and now value of f m this is the coefficient of i n coefficient of j and 0 0 is the coefficient of k this is only two dimensional vector so third is 0 after solving this determinate we get this following result so now here cancel first row and first column like this first row and first column cancel multiply cross multiplication so do over do y of differentiation 0 do over do y of 0 minus do over do z of n minus j second second result taking minus j minus j second cancel and first row first row second column cancel solving this determinate this is 3 cross 3 determinate so after solving this second column and first row cancel now remaining multiply cross multiply do over do x differentiation with respect to 0 differentiation with respect to x to 0 do over do x of 0 minus do over do y do over do z of m here differentiating with respect to z m and next k k is last 
फर्स्ट रो एंड लास्ट कॉलम सो हियर डो ओवर डो एक्स एन एंड माइनस डो ओवर डो बाई एम आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दिस दिस रिजल्ट इज जीरो सो हियर माइनस डो एन ओवर डो जेड आई एंड हियर इज माइनस माइनस प्लस माइनस माइनस दिस प्लस डो एम ओवर डो जेड जे प्लस के दिस रिजल्ट Also as C in curve C is a closed curve in xy plane, so we can write n cap equal to k cap because n is the unit normal vector which is perpendicular to the xy plane, and xy plane always is z axis. But along z axis there is a vector k cap. K cap is working along z axis, so n cap and k cap both are parallel. N cap and k cap. Both are parallel, parallel vector. So two vectors are parallel, then they are equal. So n cap equal to k cap we can write here. Now next one, next we find curl f dot curl vector f dot n cap. So here, this is the curl f minus do n over do j i and plus do m over do j j. N plus k this. This is here n vector. This is f curl f. This is the value of curl f. Curl f vector from this. And this dot n. This dot n cap. Now putting n equal to here k. Putting n equal to k cap. So here k cap. So now multiply k cap. Here is no i, no j, only k there. So this multiply to this. Other results are zero here. So we write here k dot k is one. We get only here do n over do x minus do m over do y. This equation seven. Now we find f dot dr. F one dx, f two dy, f three dz. So no need of this. Okay. Now this is formula. All values, ever values, putting in this formula. So this is the value of f dot dr, m dx plus n dy. This is the curl f dot k ds, and this value curl f dot n ds, and curl f dot n is this. We have find already this value. This equation nine. So this is basic formula for Green theorem. We apply. This formula in Green theory. This is two-dimensional vector point function, and this is curl f. This is known as a Green theorem in the plane. Okay. This is equation nine. Issue equation nine is basic formula for Green theorem. To solve any question with the help of Green theorem, then we apply this. Or verify Green theorem, then we apply this formula. To verify Green theorem, we find out the value of left hand side and also value of right hand side. If both value are same, it means Green's theorem is verified in our question. This is the problem one. Problem second, find the area. Area is this. This is area integral. This is line integral. So, in the question, you find the value of this line integral that is equal to this area integral. So we can find area with the help of this formula also. So here, problem one, I want to discuss problem one based on Green theorem. How we can find the value with the help of Green theorem? So what is question? Question is this. By the use of Green theorem, with the help of Green theorem, so that area bounded by a simple closed curve is given by this x dy and y dx here. This is the area of a closed curve. Hence, find the area of an ellipse. Okay. Find the area of an ellipse. So ellipse is this. This is the ellipse. This is x-axis, 
एंड दिस इज वाई एक्स दिस इज ओरिजिन दिस इज वाई एक्स सो दिस इज टू डायमेंशनल कर दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई सी दिस इज एक्स वाई प्लेन ellipse so now find out the area of an ellipse how we can find the area of an ellipse with the help of green theorem so we discuss here in this lecture detail how we can find the area of an ellipse with the help of green theorem so this is very most important problem most important problem and very easy and interesting also this is applicable for engineering courses very important problem how we can application of green theorem in our question to find the area of given closed curve so here solution is start by green theorem in planes we have this is the formula this is formula in scalar form not in vector form so here this is line integral integral c c is closed curve and here function is m dx plus n dy m dx plus n dy equal to double integration this is region r del do n over do x minus do by do m over do y dx dy we have just discussed this formula in detail how we can find this formula okay so this equation 1 now this is here integral is given this is the line integral line integral is given so i am writing here in place of this left hand side 1 upon 2 integral x dy minus y dx x dy minus y dx is left hand side and this is integration m dx plus n dy this given in our problem This given one upon two here given one upon two integration c and x dy minus y dx. Okay, this is given in our problem. But in our problem is m dx plus n dy. This is general integral. This is known integral. So this known integral, this is general integral. This is left side in our question. This is left side in our formula. so both sides keeping equal after this result and this result this is in our formula and this is in our question so both results keeping equal to find the value of m and n so now comparing the equation to on both sides then we get m what is m in our formula m is the coefficient of dx and n is the coefficient of dy so here the coefficient of dx is minus y in left side we see that coefficient of dx is minus y and coefficient of dy is x in right hand side coefficient of dy is m coefficient of dx is m so first of taking coefficient of dx on both sides so dx in in formula coefficient of dx is m and in question coefficient of dx is minus y so now m is minus y we get here and now next coefficient of in formula coefficient of dy is n and in question coefficient of dy is x so here n is x now in right hand side right hand side differentiation of n with respect to x partially do n over do x minus do m over do y we find out the right hand side of the formula so here differentiating m with respect to y do m over do y is minus 1 and do n over do x is plus 1 so hence from equation 1 we have this is formula here is minus y dx here is minus y Minus y dx plus x dy double integration. Do I am putting the value of do I am over do do n over do x. This. So here do over do y of m m is minus y. So this result is minus one. And do over do x of n n is x. So this is one. Both value putting here do x over do x and here do minus y. 
So this is minus one means one plus one. We get this. So here this is two dx dy. Two is taking out dx dy. This is area and double integration region R dx dy. This is represented by area of the given closed curve in the region R. So this is two a. And left hand side is minus y dx plus x dy. This here. Now any point on x y on the ellipse is given. Y. This is ellipse. And equation of ellipse is x square upon a square, x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to one. This is standard form of the ellipse. So this is x axis. And this is y-axis. This is origin. Any point on the ellipse. This is the ellipse curve. This is the curve C. Any point on the ellipse P. So this is x comma y. X comma y is the point. So x equal to here a cos phi, and y is equal to here b sin phi. These are the parametric form of the Ellipse because this coordinate verify to this equation. We are putting x equal to a cos phi and y equal to b sin phi. Then we get result one. So this is parametric equation of the ellipse. This is the value of x and y. This is general point of the ellipse. This is any place of the ellipse. This is not fixed point. This is not constant point. But this. Point verify to the equation of the ellipse. So this value putting in left hand side, area a equal to one upon two, zero to two pi, putting minus y. Here minus y. Y is first of all putting x dy. X is a cos phi, and d of y. D of y y is b sin phi. D money differentiation b sin phi minus here is minus y a sin phi here is here is a sin phi by y is b sin phi sorry here b sin phi and differentiation of x dx a cos phi here so differentiation of a cos phi now a cos phi differentiation of b sin phi is Sin phi differential of sin phi is cos phi, so b cos phi and phi is d phi, and minus b sin phi differential of a cos phi is cos phi is minus sin phi, so minus a sin phi d phi. So now multiply by cos phi into cos phi cos square phi minus minus plus sin phi into sin phi sin square phi. So a b and here a b, a b is common cos square phi plus sin square phi d phi. What here? Cos sine square phi plus cos square phi is one. So one upon two. A B is taking out of the integration. Limit zero to pi. What is region? Region is ellipse. Okay. This x axis and this y axis. This is any phi angle. This is phi. Okay. Phi is starting zero, and after completing one cycle, C. That is two pi. Phi is two pi. So value of phi is minimum is zero and phi maximum is two pi. After complete closed curve, starting from x-axis, so there phi is zero and after completing this result, then we phi is two pi. So this is region. Region is an ellipse. So the limit of this region is starting from zero to two pi. So zero to two pi, a b is common here. Here is this is one, a b is common only d phi. So one d phi, this equal to one upon two a b. Integration of phi d d phi one d phi. Integration this is phi only, and limit is zero to two pi. So zero to two pi one upon two a b, and two pi minus zero. So two two is cancel. B get pi a b. So pi a b is the area of an ellipse. Now pi a b is the area 
of an ellipse okay we can find the area of an ellipse with the help of green theorem okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates